Hello, the game has started. It's my opponent to go first. I've got a pretty good rack. I have Mooning. Does that go? Well, it certainly does because MI is good. But it also plays higher up. So is there anything better? I don't have anything which goes in front of Ewe. Do I have something beginning or ending in I? Don't think so. Mooning for 74. Wow, do I want to put this I next to this X friendly triple letter square? I think so because this is the best score. Great, that looks very close to a bingo. Do I have one? And the floating N looks useful. I've got the I-E-S-T ending. That's been, well, the floaters have been taken out. Wow, look at that, 72 points for opponent using that triple letter spot. So he's now leads by 10. Do I have a 7 with this rack? I do because Toities is good. Does it play? Wow, I'm not sure it does. What a shame. Chi takes nothing in front. Key takes a D and an S after it. Can't get it to play in column 9. MI only takes an S after it that I've got. So, 18 minutes on my clock. MI takes nothing in front that I have. And I think Mooning takes an S, so Toities would have gone. And I don't think it has an anagram. Through an S I would have otitises and osteitis. So how to sort this rack out. I don't think I can get enough for the S to justify burning it at the bottom of column 8. Ton is good. If I played just OI, I would have quite a good rack leave. Which I can do here for 8 points. That doesn't feel great. There could be a 9 letter play through MI. Let me take this back. I don't, I don't think eight points is can, can be best. What about a double double through U N? Junius for twenty eight. I think that's better than just playing I O and keeping Stight. But probably close. I'm going with this. Pretty good. Five vowels, but the J goes well with vowels. I have Uija on my rack. That currently plays above Tuniest, and Tuniest has obstructed the access to this triple word square. I suspect I suspect there wasn't much between that play and OI. So where are the good J spots? I have jury in row M. Wow. Great bingo for opponent, 91 points. He has provided a nice spot for Uija. I don't think... Wow, is Ebonist good? It is. So, do I have a J something E play? 
that would score well. Uija at least retains an E. So J A E I E O E U E. I don't have a huge play in column one. Uija for forty five. Could be an eight with this rack. I'm not seeing a seven. And I will take out this ebonist spot if opponent leaves it available. Just wondering about developing the top right of the board. And difficult to see how to do that and score. Eevee takes a K in front. K still to come. And if opponent does play in column one, there is this spot above the O for my H. But it would be nice to play off one of the N's as well. I don't I don't think heng is good, but henge is. Good score for opponent, fifty two points. Let me see what H E scores here. Thirty eight. That's pretty good. The only fly in the ointment being the duplicate N, because E G N R is not too bad of a rack leave. But I can't do anything about that. And I can't do anything better than he in this spot. And if I played Henge in column 9, it would score a lot less and would provide easy scoring opportunities in column 8. I'm going with this. I have Gunnera. Does that play? I'm not sure. It, well, it does. Column 10, Gunnera's. So I do have a playable bingo right now. I'm sure opponent's attention will be turned to the floaters in Tunia since HE has closed up the bottom left of the board. The bonnest hook is still available, but not many words ending EH. EWE doesn't take anything other than a K in front. And Gunnera does not play in column 9. Mir is good, but OWA isn't. And Ami is good, but Gunnera doesn't place the A there. I trail by about 40 points. J takes nothing in front of it, so this I below the triple letter square, not not particularly dangerous at all. Gunnera has no anagram. What about a play through the T? Not seeing anything. So what to do if my, if my bingo is blocked? Not a huge amount on offer. Wow, Gunnerus is not blocked. And wow, opponent has, has the K, didn't make Kiwi. So I have Gunner and Car not getting doubled. Still one S and two blanks to come. So I think this is the better spot, but it's marginal. Gunnerus for 63. Not bad, but not a bingo. I have drift and draft on my rack. And look at this, just one point between us. Close battle and 40 tiles in the bag. I guess this A of Kawa quite hot next to the K. But I think the best I can do there is frat. 
or afrit. Now if opponent plays in that column, there should be opportunities in column 14, but a column 14 play is likely to open up column 15. So it'll be a case of balancing the score with the danger. So what about column 11, parallel to gunners? What do I have which goes next to the U? Well, both R and T. Yes, opponent plays there for 26, not a huge score. CAF is good, but I don't have anything apart from the D, which goes next to AD. CHI is good. So I really don't have anything great in column 14. Well, I have FRIT. However, that takes an A in front. And still three A's and two blanks to come, so that would be pretty dangerous. I'm only a tempo behind. Let me see what FRAT scores. 22 points. There is a good bingo lane in column 14. And although we're neck and neck, my opponent has the tempo, which means when we're level, it's he is on turn. So I could do with keeping the board open. Let me put this back for the moment. Do I have anything across from the E? No. And do I have anything other than Frit? Don't think so. What about a play in row D? F something G perhaps? Not seeing anything. So frat is creating no new bingo lanes and it's obstructing the G, the G as a floater. So it's not a great play. I can't see anything in row L and F something AG play. I could play frat I and pi, but that provides easy scoring spots for opponent. 12 minutes on my clock. I can't play next to both ends. Just wondering if I can get my F tripled. Don't think I can. I could play Fad, Ami and Do. Let me see what Fat scores. 21 points. Quite inviting a play in column 5, but that's going to create floaters and possibly a new bingo lane. So I quite like that. Do I play the R as well? It's still three R's to come, so I think I do. Frat for 22. Quite a nice rack. Good scoring tile in the Z and three vowels to play with. And do I have anything in row H across from the E? Don't think so. Through a C, I would have Zydeco. Zen is good. But I can't get it to play twice. It would be nice to play off the Z with the Y, just to keep my bingo options maximised. So I have Dozy on my rack, that does play in column 7, but it's quite a volatile play. Not seeing anywhere else for it. Wow, I thought for a moment I did have a spot in column 14, but KAD not good. I have DZO and ADD, but there are a lot of E's out there. Well, DZO, I was thinking in terms of E's, if I were to place my Z next to AD, so a play of Z or ZIT, that's what I was concerned about.
so wouldn't have quite the same danger. Although add takes an S, and look at this, still both blanks to come. And only 32 tiles left, so quite tempting to turn over some tiles to try and get one of those blanks. 11 minutes on my clock. Yes is good, so I could play Yes and Ya. Yeah. Do I have a play in column 5? And he doesn't take anything in front that I've got. What about a player cross rows D or E? Not seeing anything. This is not going to score very much. Well, I can make it slightly better with Oyez. 25 points and a pretty good rack leave. Can I do any better? 10 minutes on my clock. Do I have something through the U? Opponents has blocked Yuts. I don't have to play the Z, but I'd quite like to. I trail by 16, so I may need a bingo. What about opening a new bingo lane now? Well, that could be just giving my opponent the opportunity to opportunity to play one. I'm going with Oyez for 25. Quite a nice looking rack. Not seeing a seven here. I do have Deve onto the V, and with all these E's to come, not a not a disaster getting rid of all of both of mine. Opponent's play a Vug for just 11 points suggests he may have held on to five very good tiles, so I could be about to be on the receiving end of a bingo. And I don't have any scoring tiles for any big plays. Wow, opponent doesn't bingo. Interesting. Liar takes nothing in front. So, I'm just wondering about placing my C here and to try and get into a, a scrap with my opponent. So, what I could do is play Caddy for 22. That forces any bingos to have at least two overlaps. although they're not very difficult overlaps. Is that best? So tricky. What about a play in column four? So I can play Cade for 33. That's a much better score. I think that's a better play. If opponent does bingo in column 14, there may be a bingo lane in column 15. And I'm opening a new bingo lane in column 3, so I think this is the right thing to do. Can I get my C doubled? Should I get it doubled? Eight minutes on my clock. I'm going with this. Great, I draw one of the blanks. I have itemized on my rack. That plays in column 15, column 14 rather. Surely I have a bingo. I have Seaties in column 3. Yeah, that is a bingo lane. So I am bingoing this turn. Remaining tiles, very bingo-y. Let me check the vowel situation. 9 out of 26 are quite vowel dry and mainly E's. So maybe not as bingo-y as I thought. 
but I certainly will be bingoing. And probably in column three to avoid opening up column 15. Which of us can play our bingo first? And what other bingos do I have? So I've seen itemize and see at ease. See at ease takes an A in front. There's another another bingo lane, column 12, hooking the P. That would require a bingo ending U or O. Well, I don't have any such bingo. Opponent taking a while with this move. He may simply have a bingo in column 14 and be agonising a bit about opening column 15. Certainly a bingo in column 14 could well provide a bingo opportunity in the bottom right. Ten minutes on opponent's clock, eight on mine. It's possible I have a bigger overlap in column 14, but I'm not feeling hugely optimistic about that. And that's because either the S or the blank would have to go next to AD. Nineteen tiles in the bag. Looking around for any other bingo lanes, not seeing any. Well, I guess column one still available for bingos ending EH, but I'm not sure I know any of those. Taboule, possibly. But I don't think anything with this rack. Wow, opponent plays Doodle, not a bingo. Just 15 points, fantastic. And he surely did not have, well, he did not have the blank when he played that. Otherwise, he could have played doodles. He's created a new bingo lane in column two. I think I'm going to bingo in column 14. But do I have any alternatives to, well, Seaty's plays, making overlapping the first three tiles of Prad. And S is not a good tile for overlapping because it doesn't take an A or an E. And look at this, all the O's have gone and all the I's. This could be the play. And I lead by four. And Pi takes nothing in front, so I'm taking out column 12 as a bingo lane. S does take a T, but only one of those left. I'm going with this. Am I? Well, for a start, I'm going to switch. No, I'm not. It's more valuable up there. I'm just wondering if there is a play... Well, for example, deities. Let, I, I do have six minutes. This is critical. I'm wondering if I have a play in column 14, which is more blocky. Say a play with a V in it. Let me run through the alphabet and see if any bingos come to mind. And I need to be quick because I'm down to nearly five minutes on my clock. But it's good to have a bingo in my back pocket. That's deities which would play, but the D does take an E next to it. Could be something here, but I'm going through fairly fast. That's itemize. 
thought about playing itemize. That has some merit. It would require a four tile overlap. However, PE does take an A in front. Cyanite. Yeah, that, I don't think that's better. Whoops. Let me deal with the correct tile. Pieties. P does take an E in front. Four minutes on my clock. This is the, the most useful blocking tile, and I'm not seeing anything with this. I have, I do, I do. I have Visitee. Wow, is that the play? Well, it is in terms of the top of column 15, but it would end E-E. -E. Let me see what this looks like. Visitee for 68. A bingo would require a three tile overlap. I think I'm going with this. I feel that this is the blockiest of the moves I've considered. Okay, Visity for 68. Well, I can see the tiles opponent's got just three vowels and a blank unseen. Critical moment. But I do lead by 70 points, so if opponent bingo's in column 15, it's not totally over. And if he doesn't, I can take that spot out with Glebe. Vug takes a G after it, which I have. So actually, column 11, another bingo lane, but involving a four-tile overlap. I can't do very much in column 11 with that Vug hook because I've got nothing which goes after the U. Three minutes on my clock, eight on my opponent's. He may create a new bingo lane. A player across from H1 would do that. But I think if he did, Glebe would, would enable me to outrun my opponent. I have Blee in column two. Pretty blocky because nothing goes in front of L-O. Seven minutes on opponent's clock. He's not played quickly. Does that mean he doesn't have a bingo? A bingo in column 15 would have to begin with a vowel, and there is a vowel shortage. Although, there will be playable bingos. Fantastic, he's uh, taken out that spot but has scored 40 points, which isn't so good. My Glebe spot has gone, three, three minutes on my clock, three tiles in the bag. What to do? So this is what I was thinking of doing, Blee. And that takes out all bingo lanes because nothing goes in front of L-O, and it's only six tiles down to B-O, and 29 points, decent score, plus the rack leave is pretty good. Should I, however, be playing two tiles to leave one in the bag? Spet is good. My opponent has opened up a bingo lane in column 12. So he could have campers in that spot. How to block that? Tricky. I could play beg. 
and does opponent have a bingo in column two, it would require an awful lot of overlaps. Just two minutes on my clock. What about playing BE for 12? I'm pretty sure I can outrun my opponent if he, if he doesn't bingo. I would take, have to have the blank in front. Well, there could be something there. One minute on my clock. So, what about playing Gull. That would provide a floating L. Is that useful for opponent? I don't think so. Horrible rack leave for me. Only one minute on my clock. And it empties the bag. I am going to leave one in the bag, or am I? I don't think so. I don't want to pin it fishing for another bingo. Beg for 21. And look at that. Opponent has no vowels. He's not bingoing. And can he score particularly well? I don't think he can. I'm not going out in one with this rack. I've only got 56 seconds left. So I've got null in row nine, but that keeps four vowels. I could play lean in column two. Opponent's really restricted in terms of what he can do. He may come up with something though. He does have the blank. He may find a funky 40 point play which would put me under quite a bit of pressure. So he may have an out in two. And I have very little time to maximise my score. And at the moment, all I've seen is lean. An opponent could take that out. Brad only takes an S at the end. I've burnt my G for the Vug hook. Five minutes on opponent's clock. What has opponent got up his sleeve? And what do I have apart from lean? Which I may not want to do if opponent hangs on to his blank because that might create a scoring spot for him. I have Neil, N-E-A-L, in column 11. So I do have two decent scores, both using the same tiles, both leaving Lee. So do I have an out for Lee? Probably. But um, I can't see it. So do I have anything ending EH, a non-bingo? Not that I can see. Four minutes on opponent's clock. Still 56 seconds on mine. Does opponent have a win in his locker, or is he trying to minimise his losing spread? He plays Murr for 16, keeping back the blank. Let me see if Neil provides anything super hot for him. Pav, actually that is pretty hot. 36 seconds on my clock. I'm too short on time, I'm going with this. 
Is this my death knell? Oops, that's not the play, is it? This was it. N E A L. L E, not good. Ah, oh, it was lean, wasn't it? I'm over, I'm 10 seconds, I lose 10 points, I've gone over time. I have Leah in column 12. What else do I have? I have Eel in column 1, so I certainly can go out. Is that flap going to cost me the game? Do I have somewhere better for Eel? Wow, and maybe the final placement of Lean has hampered opponent scoring off this H1 spot. Yeah, I think I envisaged originally a play down from one square higher, which would have enabled him to play Pav. So I have Lear for eight. I have Leet and L or and yay, which is going to score a lot more. That surely is enough. I'm 44 points ahead. I don't think opponent can go out in one. Two minutes on his clock. Leet may not be good, it may be L E A T, but I think it is. Not seeing any other spots around the board. Opponent down to just one minute. Opponent pretty unlucky in having all those consonants at the end. But look at this, he did play three of them off with Doodle. So VAR for 10. My leet spot remains available. And the final score. 390 for my opponent, 451 for me, a winning margin of 61 points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. Wow, what a game, that felt epic. Ah, oh, I've already done that. History. So, opponents go first, pretty grim. He plays Iwi. And now I have Mooning in a few spots. And this was the highest scoring. Opponent's Rack plays Key for 72. And now I have Toities and nowhere for it. And there wasn't anywhere for it. I played Junius for 28. I could have got 35 at N1 for Otitis, but that's providing an O in column one, which opponent can score very well off. Opponent gets Bonists down for 91, and I'm now a bingo behind. Ouija, 08, that was my play. Opponent's rack plays Hawks. And now I play He for 38, and that looks fine. Not a nice rack for opponent plays Kawa, and that's great because I have Gunnera and Gunnera's F13, yeah, I considered both of those, I prefer Gunnera's because it stops the S being placed after it. Another Grim Rack for opponent plays Prad, and now this was a, ma uh, a move I spent some time over, 
and eventually went with frat for 22. Can't see anything definitely better. And another grim rack. Well, certainly a opponent having the worst of it in terms of tiles. Plays Vug. So he played Vug for 7 from this. He was not keeping a monster. My rack. And I spent a while with this one, and I went with Oyez in the end, which doesn't feature here, but does burn the Y. So my rack leave of Diet, significantly better than any of the rack leaves on offer here. So I still like my play. However, L14, Toes, yeah, well that provides huge scoring spots in column 15, so I like my play. Opponent plays Liar, and now just 14 points between us. I played Cade, which looks fine. And this is where opponent plays Doodle. Well, I guess he saw those two unseen blanks. But it's only 15 points. E11. He could have got 29 for Poos, and I, I think that would have been a better play. My rack. Wow, and this is one I really agonised over. I was on the brink of playing C at ease, and then changed it to visit E, because V takes nothing before or after it. An opponent has a good rack. No bingo. Wow. But he does have, or did have perfect and prefect. Plays fet for 40, and now I lead by 30, so I'm vulnerable to a bingo and the blanks. Still, there is a blank still out there. And I have three minutes on my clock, and there's three tiles in the bag, and I still manage to run overtime. So I thought about playing Blee, but wanted to take out column 12 as a bingo lane, so I played Beg. Opponent plays Mur. H1. Laden, ah, yeah, pretty good, because opponent has no vowels, so, yeah, Laden works quite nicely for 21 points. I flapped and pay, played lean eventually, going over time. Opponent plays VAR, and finally Leet for 15 was best. So, absolutely fantastic game. It looks like a healthy winning margin at the end, but it certainly wasn't anything like that opponent could have bingo to win near the end from my perspective so it was really tense going into the end of the game and i did end up going overtime and losing 10 points so really high high pressure game i hope you enjoyed watching that and i will see you next time